I want to ask you, 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 you have been asked this a million times, uh, how you managed to raise such a wonderful and extraordinary group of sons. And I saw recently in an interview that you did uh, where you said that you were not a stage door father. Well, no, what I did, uh, I married the greatest lady in the world and said, there they are. Get them. You know, I mean, a lot of times, <laughs> uh, some of these things are said in humor, but it's, it, it's really not. Uh, my wife was the glue that kept all of that stuff together. And we were very supportive of them just from the standpoint of them actually studying uh, music because not a lot of parents want their children to do that. And uh, I spent 12 years at the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts High School, and it could be very difficult to recruit uh, high school students to come and study music seriously, because uh, everybody's parents want them to be doctors and lawyers and what have you. So we didn't really push them, but we did make sure that they had uh, the proper music instruction. Now, when I say that, I was teaching music at that high school, but I didn't teach any instrument, you know, because people will say, well, did you teach what how to play a trumpet? No, I don't know how to play a trumpet. <laughs> and I was, wasn't about to try to teach him a trumpet, nor uh, teach Bradford saxophone or Delphio trombone, and definitely not to teach Jason by drums. You know, but there were people, fortunately, that I knew in the city uh, who was good at those particular instruments, and we could get them to help them on their way. Have you, as you have noticed, uh, Ellis Marcellus is modest about an influence that he had on his sons, but Winton said that the foundation of how I teach, what I think and know comes from him. Thank you.